Hi, and welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we are... Going into Salerno. And Correct. from there, we do a couple trips out, and you'll get to see that. Yeah, and we crashed the bike, too. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> Minor. <laughs> yeah. That morning at the villa we were at, it was our day to leave, so we packed up and it was, we noticed it was raining lightly out that morning, nothing that we were too concerned about. Um, I think we opened the door to look out and check it out and there was this little lizard on the door <laughs> and the door swung in, so then it, it fell off into the, um, into the villa, so we spent probably 10 minutes trying to catch the little lizard and get yeah. it outside again. <laughs> hurting lizards is like hurting cats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. that good. Maybe the cat would have helped oh. catch it. <laughs> yeah, I would have done it in. Um, so yeah, after we got the lizard out, we packed up and yeah. headed down the road. Yeah, we packed the bikes up and just now remember Mike and I had just spent the day before, we had the bikes all washed and <laughs> clean and they were all nice. And, and uh, yeah, so it had rained just a little bit, but it hadn't rained in months no, in this area. No, that's, that's... And yeah, so we headed down the road and yeah, unfortunately we were on a slightly wet road with cold tires and mm -hmm. went into a curve and the back end let loose and down we went. It did. And the fortunate thing about it was that Mike was behind us with his GoPro on yeah. so we actually caught it on camera. <laughs> After I <laughs> smashed my head into that brick wall, I got up and the first thing I said to Mike was, did you film it? <laughs> So we do have the film, you guys can watch yeah. it if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah. But yeah, Pepe got a little, well, we busted one light off and broke a foot peg and the Tempted the panniers pannier, up pretty yeah. good, but yeah. yeah, you know. We were wearing the gear, we had uh, riding jeans on, which yeah. um, they took the slide really well. Yeah, Carrie had riding shoes, like running shoes with a little plastic zipper on it. The zipper got all melted. Yeah, and, that's right. And uh, after the fact, we came back home and she took them in and they yeah. returned them. They, yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah, didn't so. survive the crash, so they said, yep, here's a new pair. Yeah, so that was awesome. Uh, I think I had to stitch my back pocket on it to come but yeah. off. But, you know, yeah, but when you're riding, wear the gear. Yeah, it's, we would have been, that would have been well, our way. helmets were both busted. Yeah, they got scraped up. They were all way. chewed up. And yeah. yeah. That's what happens when you smoke your head into a brick wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good thing I didn't hit anything that hurt. <laughs> so at least we were able to continue on. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. So we, I think we took a coffee break. And, we did. Got yeah. our wits about us again and then yeah. headed on down into Salerno. Salerno, yeah. So once we were there, we found our Airbnb and uh, Glenn was on Google Map trying to find a... Yeah, I found a bike shop yeah. at the end of the street. Yeah, it was perfect. And went down yeah. in there and and uh, he didn't have the part we needed, his kind of a repair shop. But, you know, as we found out in Europe, mm -hmm. you got to know a guy who knows a yeah. guy. So yeah. he spent all his time running around getting the pieces. I left the bike with him overnight. Yeah. And, and, and we had, then we went on the hunt because we didn't know a guy. And, yeah. Um, we went to five different places to find some silicone and some JB weld and yeah. some screws. And they don't some, have the big, well, in the area we were in anyways, didn't have any, like, no, you know, no. Canadian Tire or something like that where you no. get everything in one place. You have to find the little paint store and the little hardware store. Uh, and, yeah, and they're so all was, scattered all through It was town. kind of fun. Yeah, it was like yeah. a scavenger hunt for yeah. pieces. So I spent the night putting the pieces back together and bolting the bike back together. Kind of fun. 
but we also, um, on top of getting the parts to fix the panniers, I went on a hunt for new tires. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which, which you did find. Um, I found this awesome store, and I put street tires on instead of a 50-50 tire, because that's all we were doing was street. But this guy ran this yeah. store, and again, it's a hole in the wall, and it, my bike's jacked up out on the street, and he takes all the wheels off, and it's just balancing out there. And You know, he put the tires on, and he balanced them on a machine, and installed and everything. They were probably, and these are a good tire, um, the next, uh, next two tire, which is a good expensive tire, and it was installed it was two-thirds of the price of just the tires and yeah, back in canada yeah. man we pay for stuff here well even the repair we were thinking oh, you oh know, yeah how much is that gonna cost us and we get there and he, he goes was it like 20 euros yeah he says to me he says uh 20 euro and i'm like yeah here's my money you know <laughs> start the car start the car yeah, we're out of here he had to run all over town getting pieces and yeah, and yeah we couldn't believe it so yeah i mean it was a foot peg but i mean yeah but am amazing service right everybody was so helpful and yeah they got us back and yeah so we could get riding again and that was the next day so, that, so in the morning you went real early to get the tires changed and then you came back and we headed out to Pesca yeah, after that. what do you call that? Uh, like a temple kind of thing. Yeah, they, it was it was in and it was in great shape, and you could walk right into it. Yeah, they had little in the one main temple. I think it was the temple of Neptune. They call it. They that little groups actually go right into it. So that was really cool because yep. in Athens and like the Acropolis, you can't go into it at all. So no, that was pretty cool that we could actually yep. walk in it. And, Um, uh, we are standing here on the Roman Forum and uh, uh, this uh, used to be the Roman altar which belonged to the Temple Cool. And um, we are excavating as well this structure. In the museum at Pestum, they had quite neat stuff. They had the, they're known there for their painted tombs. So there was a lot of uh, really well-preserved paintings. The famous one is the diver, the, what did they call it? The tomb of the diver. This is like a real original. They don't see this uh, painting anywhere else that they found. So that was kind of cool. And then they had paintings of, them symposium. Was I there? Yeah, which was, was what, when we were in Greece, we said we're always... I don't remember any of that. Remember in Greece, so we'd say, oh, we're doing a symposium. We'd all, oh, yes. The family would be there, we'd be having our wine, and that, that, that's what they like to do in Greece, is yeah. have a symposium. I think the kids like <laughs> to drink party. that yellow drink. The limoncello. The limoncello. Yeah, yeah, so that was fun. But the next day, we decided we we're going to do the Amalfi Coast. Yeah, and we weren't thinking yeah, it was actually Sunday. a Sunday. <laughs> and of, okay. co of course, everybody. Trip tip. Yeah. Don't do, don't do the Amalfi Coast on the weekend. <laughs> it was crazy. Don't do it. Yeah. Every Italian, I think, uh, from Man. all around went to the Amalfi Coast.
we we were getting passed by everybody because I, mean, I was driving slow i just dumped the bike two yeah. days before so i wasn't racing but i was i felt like i was giving her until the girl on the pink vespa smoked by yeah. me like i was parked and i think mike has a film of that so i'll, I'll see if i can get it yeah, we can get it <laughs> yeah. if we can get it she'll likely post it yeah ATMs on one wheel around the corners. Yeah. We made it uh, to Amalfi. And then we stopped there and had coffee and a snack with Mike and Shelly. Mm -hmm. And they were going to head back to Salerno. And then we were going to continue on to uh, Sorrento. Sorrento, yeah. yeah. Buses and the, the bridges, the buses couldn't get across the bridges till people got out of the way. Yeah, well, the, bu the corners are sharp, so the buses often can't make it all in one turn. You have to oh. <laughs> do a three point turn. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we rode along there. I mean, the whole the, the whole day of riding in Malfi Coast was six and a half hours, and it's mm -hmm. what a hundred kilometers. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, but uh, I think if you want to go fast, the sport bikes would get up real early and head out before everybody else was awake. Yeah, and the way they're riding, I think they do it regularly. They yeah, know every oh, yeah. curve and corner. And, For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, so we got to Sorrento and then we decided, well, it's kind of more city-like, so let's, let's go back along the coast, go home, and then we'll stop and have a coffee and somewhere, nice restaurants all through there, right? Except there was no parking. Yeah. We yeah. couldn't even find a place to park the motorcycle, no. which was insane. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. <laughs> it was, yeah, well, it was a beautiful day. And yeah. It, I guess everybody was out for the day, yeah. so, yeah, so. So we, yeah, we just tootle back home.
tootle back home and then I think we went out with Mike and Shelly for supper at a Irish, I, Irish pub. Yeah, I think there was supposed to be a... a it was a big car race. Big that car were, race that they were watching and they were excited to see that, but we had a hard time finding a place that was actually yeah. televising it. <laughs> well, I don't think it was... It wasn't a problem that was being televised. It's just, I think it was F1 car racing, whatever it is they, they yeah. like isn't quite as popular as soccer. Yeah, yeah, that's why I do. <laughs> and you can't go into the pub and say, hey, let's turn the soccer game yeah. off and put on something else. Yeah. <laughs> we don't get scooters in restaurants in Canada. <laughs> we were heading up to Cortona, which yeah. is a more northern. Uh, so we had a couple stops along the way. So that'll be the next episode is yep. our, our journeys up to Cortona and Cortona. Yeah, and the flash flood that happened in Cortona. Yeah, they can get some <laughs> they get some pretty wicked storms. rains there. Yeah, yeah so yeah. we'll <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode. And if you like our content, uh, like mm -hmm. and subscribe is always appreciated. And uh, leave a comment one way or the other. And mm -hmm. we'll see you in the next episode. Yeah, see you then.